Hello YouTube, RJ. Hey, little quick video hopefully to fix my Owen meter. Had a little problem. When I was playing around with the load, electronic load, I managed, I was measuring milliamps and I met, managed to accidentally put, you know, probably over an amp into it. And now no current passes through it. So it doesn't measure anything. And it can't power anything through the, through the ammeter, milliammeter. Amp meter works great. Everything else works great. Hoping to pop the fuse. It says it's fused at 60 milliamps. I'm, I'm really hopeful I pop the fuse in here. I do have a bunch of multimeter fuses that I've collected over the years. I'm hoping whatever it is, I have it. Let's get into it. Maybe, uh, maybe you might run into this. It might help you. So let's pull the USB. Let's pull the power out of it. And let's see about getting it apart. Kind of looks like I'm assuming these come off. They do. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, so we're going to get some screws out of this thing. There we go. Has another fuse here for the AC input. Oh yeah, it's falling right apart. Oh yeah, it comes apart very easily. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got two fuses in here. 6HV1A, that's going to have to be the one because the other would be 10A, yeah, 10A. okay, so this this is the fuse I think is popped, we'll check both of them, but I think this one's popped, I hope, if it ain't popped, we got something more serious, and then I'm going to have to do a lot more diagnostics. Okay, continuity's working, nothing. That one's testing good. This one's tested shot. So it's a one amp thousand volt. I may have this rascal. It kind of looks like about a, I'm going to bet it's probably one of those, um, oh, what is it? 6.3 millimeter by 6.3 by 32 or whatever. It's like a one quarter by one and a quarter or something. Six. HV 1A 1000 volts. Okay, let me go look. Give me a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I do have one. It's a FF 1A uh, 1000 volt fuse. It's exactly what we need. Okay, and that. All right. I'm betting that fixes it. Well, let's take a little look in here while we're in here. Ain't much to see. Um, USB communication board with a communication chip. Your AC power supply to DC power supply here. Hmm. Switch mode, it looks like. No, maybe not a switch mode. Got a couple transformers on there. Yeah, it's a little switch mode. Chip's going to be on the bottom to drive it. Um, some kind of microcontroller there. Huh. All right, let's put it together. Let's find out if I that fixes it or I did more damage than that. I'm I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing it's fixed it. That's what the fuse is there for. You would hope it would. Hopefully as good as new. Let's hook up our USB. Hook up our AC power. Let me grab some probes. We'll let's see if I can get this to where you can see it. Turn this off. Yeah, there you go. You'll be able to see it with that. Let's 
Okay, I've got some probes hooked up. Let's get this thing set up for amps. We want milliamps. Let's put it on uh, 500 milliamps. High speed. I got the power supply set up for 5 volts at 100 milliamps. So that should work just fine. So I'm coming on with it. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. All right, that's all it was. So if you run into a problem where you pop the fuse, that's what you need. And you're looking for uh, one of the part numbers you can use is an FF1A. Um, they're fast acting one amp ceramic fuses and 100 or 1000 volt rated. And so turn that off and then I'll get you right back up and going. So hope that helps somebody. Hope to catch you in the next video.